Hey, it's me again. Bad hair, don't care. Uh, let's do another drawing today. Okay, let's do a cup. And I wanna use a technique for shading called cross hatching. So get your paper pencil, meet me at the drawing table. All right, here we are at the drawing table. So let's do like, um, like a saucer cup. Kind of something you might drink tea or coffee out of. Not that you guys drink tea and coffee. Um, we'll start with the top. Now I'm going to draw a straight line across. This is going to help me with the top and I'll tell you how in a second. We're going to make an oval for the top. When you look at a circle from an angle, it becomes an oval. It starts to shrink and shrink. Okay, so in order to make sure the top and bottom of the oval are even, that line across the middle will help us. Okay, now the corners of these, the edges, are rounded. Okay, we're not making them a football shape. It's not going to have a point on the end. It's going to have a rounded end to it. See that? And I can look at the top and the bottom and try to make sure that they are symmetrical. That's why that line across the middle is helping me. I'll go a little bit darker so we can see that better. Now we've got to make the sides of the cup. The difficulty in this is making them, again, symmetrical. Okay, so when I come down, the side, the curve, the angle needs to be identical. Identical. So we'll come down this side, come down this side here too. And the bottom of the cup is also an oval, but we're not going to see the whole oval, we're just going to see this part of it. But you know, it kind of helps you to draw the whole oval. If we could see through the cup, we would see the bottom like that. See that? Let's make the handle. Okay, if we need to drink and we need to hold this cup with our pinky sticking out, like fancy people do, we need a handle to hold. Am I right or am I right? Okay, let's give a little thickness near the um, cup itself, like where that um, weld is. I mean, welding, you think of metal, so I guess it's not welded, but it's connected. Okay, and that's a little bit thicker. So that's the basic outline of our cup. Now the cross hatching. Let's imagine light coming like from this side. So it's going to be darkest over here. So for cross hatching, I'm making lines going diagonally, top right to bottom left. See that? This side will be the darkest. Now, I don't need this line anymore. That was just to help me make sure my angle on the bottom was correct. And for cross hatching, it's cross because we come back the other direction for our shading. See that? And what we're looking for again, what we're always looking for, is a gradual value change, especially on a curved object. The way the light hits it gradually decreases. So I'm going to make it a little bit lighter as I come out. And there's a little trick you can use. You squint your eyes when you look at it. And if you can see that gradual change, see how I'm going darker now along this edge? Get a little stronger. Been working out. So I can get a little stronger with my pressure on the pencil. It gives me a darker value. It's that word value again. We're going to hear that a billion times. Now I see that it's kind of a strong dark line and then it gets lighter. So I'm going to come into that space. Try to make that transition a little bit more gradual. Also, the bottom of this cup will be dark because it's the bottom. Now 
that's all right dogs barking at something outside gets very anxious when anyone comes <clears throat> near our house anyone going for a walk raises her ire okay so this corner up here will be dark as well now i'm going to do a little bit of shading over on this side not as much because the light's coming from over here maybe a little bit in front so we're going to have a little bit of shading on this side as well again i'm using the cross hatching technique I'm going to be gradual as I move into toward the middle of this cup. A little bit more. We're going to see like perhaps there's like a, a band of light, the artists say sometimes. A band of light. Mia, come! See that light coming up right up that side? Good doggy, sit. Now, since the light's coming from this side, what's going to happen is the inside of the cup here is also going to be darkest. And a cup has thickness. So I'm going to just make a tiny bit of thickness to show that this top of this cup is not paper thin. Okay, so I've got, now I'm going to go real dark right inside here. The light's not hitting there. It's coming from here. And again, I'm going to come in with some of my cross hatching. And try to gradually come out the inside of that cup. We wonder what's in there. I've gotten a little bit of a coffee drinker in my old age. You know, old people. Oh, don't talk to me until I had my cup of coffee. And we'll have a little bit of a shadow over here as well. Now the handle isn't just going to be um, blank like that. It's going to get darkest. It's going to be darker underneath. So let's even give it a little bit of a darker outline. Now it's weird too because this is the underneath. And then this is because of the shape of it. Okay, so we want to make sure we get that. And again, there's got to be a little bit of a transition. Just a scooch. Anything rounded is going to have that transition in value. Might be a little bit lighter on top and on this side, but there will be that transition. Okay, and we build up some layers here. Now, whenever I do a drawing like this, I don't want to leave it floating in space. Okay, I've actually got this original line in the middle I can take out as well. And let me just say that the inside of this is a little shaded. Okay, again with a transition coming across. Darkest, and gradually we'll get lighter. Give this a little bit of a definition on this edge as well. Give that cross hatching effect. Okay, that's too strong, so I want to soften the transition. You hear me saying that a lot, soften the transition. Um, what I was saying before, though, is since it's floating in space, let's give it a little shadow. Since the light's coming from this side, let's just see how it goes back. Now, this is going to be a dark value, and it's going to make it seem like the cup is sitting on something, that it's not floating in space. It's very infrequent where we see things floating in space. Most objects need to be sitting on something. I'm pushing very hard here to get that dark value. Okay, let's see. Now this uh, handle looks a little bit 
unfinished. So let me cross hatch in there a little bit more so it doesn't look awkward. I'll move gradually from the mug itself, show that there's a transition coming off the mug also. Ah, uh, see how that helped? It's a little bit helped. Now it's also going to be dark here. This this um, handle will cast a little bit of its own shadow. Okay, all the things we got to think about as an artist. I defined that edge a little bit also. All righty. Come across here. And there you have it. There is your mug. Give it a try.